In this video in our How-To GAN series, Class D audio amplifier applications are discussed. GAN-based Class D audio provides better sound quality in smaller form factors that can be built at a lower cost. First, the advantages of Class D audio will be discussed. The quality of sound reproduced by an audio amplifier measured by critical performance parameters such as total harmonic distortion and intermodulation distortion is influenced by the characteristics of the switching transistor used, so these parameters will be addressed. A GAN-based audio amplifier will be evaluated and the overall performance analyzed. Until recently, in order to achieve high quality sound from an audio amplifier, thousands of dollars would have had to be spent on a large, heavy, power-hungry amplifier built with a Class A amplifier topology. A drawback is that Class A amplifiers operate as a constant power dissipator with efficiencies in the 15 to 30 percent range. Class A B amplifiers increase efficiencies to 50 to 70 percent, but the sound quality is greatly degraded compared with Class A amplifiers. GAN-based Class D amplifiers, such as the one shown here, can achieve efficiencies of 90 to 95 percent while providing high quality in less space and at a lower cost. In Class D systems, pulse width modulators synthesize the analog waveform into a digital format. A higher pulse width modulation frequency will generate a higher quality digital representation of the analog signal. In these systems, there are numerous contributors to distortion. In the small signal, distortion in the PWM generator, primarily from nonlinearity in the ramp generator and comparator, have been greatly reduced by the increase in quality of these components. In purely digital systems, this error is eliminated, but replaced by errors in digitalization, which have also been greatly reduced through high-resolution digital recording. Digitalization distortion is present in all digital recordings, but the small signal nonlinearities are completely removed in digital systems because the digital to analog to digital small signal conversions are eliminated. In all cases, a small signal digital sound is presented to a power stage. Power stages using EGAN FETs come much closer to synthesizing the ideal PWM output compared with power stages using MOSFETs because the EGAN devices are far superior to silicon MOSFETs in two key characteristics that contribute to the power losses and distortion of the Class D power stage. First, excessive propagation delays, and second, reverse diode conduction. Shown here is a comparison of an ideal waveform in green, a waveform produced by a typical silicon power MOSFET in red, and a waveform produced by an EGAN transistor shown in blue. Note how closely the EGAN transistor waveform matches the ideal waveform. The ratio of RMS voltage of all the harmonic frequencies divided by the RMS voltage of the fundamental frequency is the total harmonic distortion, or THD. Deviations from the ideal waveform are the primary cause of THD. A second source of power stage THD is crossover distortion. During most of the cycle, duty cycle is diminished because of the dead time in both the leading edge where the dead time's lead turn on and lagging edge where the dead time lags turn off. As the waveform approaches zero, the current reverses and the dead time lags both turn on and turn off. Reducing dead time reduces dead time distortion. The low charge, low common source inductance and consistency of threshold over temperature allow designers to use a shorter dead time when using EGAN FETs. Shown here is a GAN transistor based Class D amplifier capable of 200 watts driving an 8 ohm speaker or 400 watts into a 4 ohm speaker. It is configured as a bridge tied load with a PWM frequency of 364 kHz. This amplifier uses the 100-volt rated 16-milliohm EPC 
2016C GAN transistor with an LMG1205 driver IC from Texas Instruments as the half bridge gate driver. A close up of the extremely small 10 mm by 15 mm power stage of the amplifier with EGAN FETs is shown. This Class D amplifier has very low THD plus noise across both signal frequency and power range due to the precise switching of the GAN transistors. This Class D amplifier has a maximum of 0.012% THD plus noise in a frequency range from 20 Hz to 20 kHz at minus 9 dB relative to 200 watt output into an 8 ohm speaker load, as shown here with THD plus noise in the vertical axis and frequency on the horizontal axis. This graph shows a THD plus noise on the vertical axis at 1 kHz of less than 0.05% at full load on the horizontal axis and approximately 0.005% at, mi at minus 10 dB relative to a 200 watt output. In addition, the low distortion is achievable with only 20 dB of feedback. The low magnitude of feedback, or in digital only systems with no feedback at all, gives this amplifier a very clear, rich sound. Music is dynamic, and feedback to reduce THD plus noise causes dynamic intermodulation distortion, or DIM. This graph compares open loop to closed loop DIM, where open loop is significantly lower. Note that at 60 Hz, harmonics are from the power supply, and a better power supply can reduce these. The quality of sound reproduced by an audio amplifier measured by critical performance parameters such as total harmonic distortion and intermodulation distortion is influenced by the characteristics of the switching transistors used. Class D audio amplifiers typically use power MOSFETs, however low conduction losses faster switching speed, and no body diode are the characteristics of enhancement mode GAN FETs that enable a significant increase in performance, resulting in improved sonic quality as well as improved power efficiency. For more detailed information about eGAN FETs and ICs in Class D audio applications, please see the third edition textbook, GAN Transistors for Efficient Power Conversion, or View more videos in the How To GAN series. And for more information on eGAN FETs and IC products and evaluation kits, go to epc-co.com.